Hey everybody, this is Felicia with The Book Is Done, um, coming to you uh, as I just finished the ARC. Um, I finished it yesterday, um, well actually this morning, like around 1 o'clock this morning. Kind of had to get my nerves together because um, it, was, it was a book that was for the Halloween festivities, um, if you will. It's called Don't Look, Just Run. And it's by an author named R.A. Clark. This book is set to come out on Halloween, which is October 31st. And um, if you are a fan of horror, like just straight horror, like I don't even want to say like paranormal stuff, like demonic type um, stories and occults and um, gosh, it was a series of short, it was a collection of short stories. And, um, when you see the cover, the cover is like a screenshot that I put at the beginning of this video. Um, but, um, it's this little girl that is sitting on, it looks like a doll that's sitting on the screen and it's pumpkins and stuff. And, um, yeah, I could only read this book during the day because, some of those, and I mean, some of it would be like a short poem where it was like maybe a page, if that, um, or like maybe 10 lines, um, it real short. And then you had legit short stories that were like maybe anywhere between three pages to 10, like there weren't really long stories, um, in this little collection of doodads and, um, yeah. It was the first that I had read of hers, and um, I pride myself on being one that likes psychological thrillers and mysteries, and when you tread into, like, when I tread into, like, the paranormal, paranormal for me would be something like um, The Only One Left by Riley Sager, one of the best books I have read, like, in my life. It's amazing. Um, he has a lot of like somewhat not really paranormal, but paranormal ghost, uh, spirits, spirit world type thing. It's not so much as to where you read a book and it's just like, you just looking all over the place and making sure that your nerves are right. Um, but this book, the, the collection of stories, um, it had stuff where it was like, um, like alien short stories. Like if there was, um, there was this one story where it was like this couple, they were expecting a baby. And then all of a sudden it was like this explosion and this thing just fell down from the sky and it looked like it was a ball or like a sphere or something. And it started humming. And next thing you know, something popped out of it, like a little line. And then it just shot stuff in whatever it shot, it attached it to whatever it attached to it, like injected like some not really a venom but like these little micro robots and you instantly started to change into not really a robot but like your whole dna just changed and you just become like this bloodthirsty creature and so that was one another one was um i don't know the names of these stories like some of them were really short and sweet um like really one word short stories um it was another one where oh gosh child when I tell you I was overwhelmed honey like I pushed through because like I said I watched it during the day or I read it during the day because it's a digital art so I read it during the day and anytime when I'm like less than a hundred pages from the end I pushed through and it only had like 237 pages so so it was like I could read maybe this is a book that I could have easily finished in like three hours right but what life being an adult, being a parent, you know, it ain't life. So, and, or on top of life, it was however much my nerves could take. Cause when it started getting like to some, it was a short story about some demons. Um, it was a family of three and they legit were demons. And I guess they came up to earth from hell and they wanted to go trick or treating. So their son, he, um, had like a speech, uh, development, kind of concern 
and they wanted to take him to a therapist or whatnot, but they were just like, I think he had to be like seven or eight. And mom, the mom was just like, I just want us to have like a normal, to a try to have like a normal, just where something that is just something that we're not being demons and we're just not doing what we do in hell. So they're coming up and their son, he's an only child. So like he's going around seeing all these you know, kids in costumes and all of this is new to him. So he's trying to eat the kids, you know what I mean? And he has like this infatuation with Smurfs. Lord, he has saw a Smurf it and like started breaking out running. And the dad was just like, this is funny to me. And the mom was like, no, like, yeah, I guess they're trying to, they're in like these costumes of being humans, but like up under everything, like it's the scaly skin and he has horns and, all that she like her head turned like her hair turned into fire and so um one of the little boy the little boy he saw this other uh person in his costume and he like approached them and like bit off their fingers and he didn't mean to like I mean he's just a curious boy but all of this is new to him and it's actually sensory overload like he's just excited about everything but he doesn't know that what he's doing is wrong and so uh, when he sees Smurf that both mom and dad are like, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't he takes off running. He's not listening to them. He was like, I want to eat. I want to eat. This child is a baby demon. So lo and behold, this child get to this, to this Smurf that. And he almost bit the girl head off. So like people done called the police. And so all of a sudden, like dad gets upset, breaks out into his everyday, like whole demon get up. The mom's hair is on fire. Everybody's looking at them like, clearly y'all are not from here. And so that was one of the stories. And I mean, they get back to hell and he was like, man, I got a lot of paperwork to fill out. And I'm just like, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Um, And so it was another book where it was just saying, it was another story that was just like, you know, don't read Latin. Don't read old Latin things could happen and so sure enough these people are at at a cabin in the woods and they come across this book and next thing you know this boy it had to be like 18 19 20 reads this book all of a sudden all this scary stuff starts happening then come to find out it was a dream that this girl had kind of like um foretelling like the future or whatnot because when she woke up one of the guys found a book and started like speaking the same Latin that was in their dream. And she was like, no. And so it, it was, listen, if you are one who likes to read different books for the holidays, certain holidays, um, because I don't know where you are, but like I'm in the United States. So a lot of people like to celebrate Halloween or All Hallows Eve or Los Dios de los or Dia de los Muertos, um, which is the day of the dead, but it's not scary like Halloween. Uh, that's for those who are of um, the Hispanic culture. So that's more family oriented. You know what I mean? Because it's your loved ones. But All Hallows Eve, Halloween, however you do it. I, I ain't with all that. But this book right here. Yeah. If you want to read something that gets you into the, into, the, into the holiday festivities. Yeah, you go ahead and read that. October 31st. It'll get you right. And it comes out on October 31st. Mm -mm, we're good i don't mm -mm. horror is not my jam okay <laughs> i was so happy and honored to read it as an arc but mm -mm, we need we need some ponies or something we need some pretty pegasus we need a hey, we need some uh my little pony type stuff after that because baby it took me a minute to go to sleep and i was just like okay all right and I don't know, maybe it's because of the bookstore that I am building. It's, it's, I'm working on the website and whatnot, but it's like I'm coming up with different ideas. And so being at different hol holidays, you know, fall just started last Sunday. So I'm trying to group together different books that are of the fall season, I'm trying to October 31st is Tuesday, uh, October 1st is Tuesday. So I'm trying to get books that are kind of a little scary, things of that nature. And so, you know, Christmas, Hall I mean, all of it, Hanukkah, all of it. So, um, I don't know why, but I'm just like, okay, I've always been one to read. Like, I don't mind reading stuff that's on the edge, 
of horror, but I don't need like all out horror. You know what I mean? That was all out horror. Like I'm good. I'm great. Hey, like, I don't even read nothing else like that ever. You understand? Ever. So I do have another book. I'm getting ready to start this. I've had this for a while, but Intrusive Thoughts. This is by hold up, Jennifer Osborne. I was gifted this book last year or earlier this year, I believe. And I read the back of it and I was like, oh, this could be a little Halloween movie or a book right here. So, yeah, we we finna we finna get into that. But let me know what you're reading. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, that was my review of that. Truly, I would say for those who are horror fans, I would give it like four, four and a half stars. You know what I mean? I think I gave it five on Goodreads um, because it really was good. Like it, it kept you on the edge. It, like it did its job. So, um, R.A. Clark with a E on the end, C-L-A-R-K-E. Um, her book is set to release October 31st. Don't look, uh, just run. But me, I put don't look back, just run. You ain't got to worry about me looking nowhere. You understand? Like, <laughs> I don't do none of that. You understand? I am one. If I see somebody running, I'm instantly running. I don't need nobody tell me to run. I don't need nobody to say, look out, none of that. If I see, if I look at somebody and they look like they finna run, I'm the one that's just, I'll ask questions when we get there, wherever it is. I, I'm not, I'm not looking back. I just take off running. I make sure my twins are straight and we out the door. I am not when, oh, well, what's happening? What's going on? Hey, hey, man, hey, that ain't me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you get left with me. Hey, we'll ask if you good when you get there. Um, but... Hopefully you are having a good day. Um, this is Felicia with the book is done. I'm trying to finish up two more um, arcs. I just, oh my gosh, I got so many arcs just within the last 48 hours. And so I'm super geeked about it. I'm trying to find some time to get through it. Um, but in all things, I hope that y'all have a good evening and I'll talk to you soon. I'm out.